Okay. So, what's your name? Um, Frank. Frank. Yeah. How old are you, Frank? Um, forty-four. Forty-four. And uh, what's your current situation? Um, just been on the road for some time, you know. You've been on the road. Yeah. So you're homeless now, yeah? Yeah. So okay. How long have you been homeless for? A few years now. On and off. How many years? On and off. Maybe okay. Three, four years. Yeah. So when did you first become homeless? Yeah, when I split out with my family. Okay. So you had like a partner and yeah. fell apart. Yeah. Do you have any kids? Yeah. Okay. How many? Three. Three. And what exactly happened in that situation? Sorry. What exactly happened in that situation with your family? Uh, no, I don't think I can get back to them. Sorry. I can't get. I, can, I don't think I can get back to them. That have given me some mental issues. Yeah? No, I mean like, what exactly happened? At the start, like before you was. Like, oh, just. It's part of it is my own self, you know, self inflicted, you know? Yeah. Are you still in contact with any of your kids? No. no. So, where exactly are you from? Country Rose. So, again? I'm African. Africa. Okay. And where in London? Um, at the moment, I'm based in Belgium area. Have you ever been to jail? Yes. Yeah? What was that for? Fighting. Fighting. Yeah. What exactly happened? I used to have a quick temper. Fighting. Fighting. Was that just the one time? I think two, three times. Two times. Three times yeah. When was the last time? A uh, couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. How long was you in for? Six months. Six months. Yeah. What did you learn from your experience in jail? Uh, it's not a nice place to be. Did anything like, happen in jail that you didn't expect? Yeah, I got attacked once. Are you able to walk us through that? What happened? Um, just some random people attacked me. I was, I was asleep in my bed. Yeah. Do you have any regrets from the situation that you know, put you in jail? Yeah, I don't think the jail is a nice place for anybody. I don't want to be there. Do you take any drugs? Uh, not at the moment. Not at the moment. So you used to? Um, not really. How would you say, you know, being homeless has affected your mental and physical health? Man, I was, I was nearly died once, so I've been given some medication. This is, most of it is in my bag, I carry it with me, you know? Okay. What's that medication for? Just for, for my health, wife, for being on the road. Okay, so you have some, you know, health issues? Yeah. Okay. And um, what health issues are there? Um, for being on the street, to be frank, it's not, it's not, it's not nice to be on the street. Yeah. Anything like specific, like is it like heart problems or? Um, what did the doctor say it was? Um, um, depression and anxiety and all those kind of things and uh, yeah. you know, oh. vitamins for uh, things like that. Yeah. So you essentially take medication for your anxiety and depression? Yeah. Okay. Do you feel like it helps? Sorry? Do you feel like it helps? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What was you doing before you became homeless? I was working though. I was working as a barber. I was working as a barber? Yeah. Okay. And do you wish you could go back to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. If you had the opportunity, would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At the yeah. moment, I was just well, I was putting in a place whereby you know, some people that live in there doing drugs as well. That yeah. has if affects my way of living in the place. So, so I've not been staying there much. Now I've been having a problem with the landlord. So I've been giving a letter to live by after Christmas. Oh, okay. So, so you've been evicted. 
I'm going to be evicted. But I've been told not to let uh, the court proceed and uh, see what they're going to do. Yeah. Right. So when it comes to, you know, you making money, how do you go about that? Well, that's, that's tough at the moment. Just rely on, on benefit at the moment. I'm trying to move from where I am and get a better place and start working. Yeah. Okay, so you're on benefits at the moment. Yeah. yeah? All right. So you mentioned, you know, you're on a, you're on a property, so you're not full on homeless, but you're going to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was and they put me there. Oh, you was homeless yeah. and then they put me there, but I'm happy. Okay, have they given you an alternative to move yeah. anywhere else? Not really. They said I have to, if I move, I'm going to be my intentional homeless, so I have to wait. Okay, you have to wait. So the procedure goes on. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any like skills or talents that you wish the world would know? Uh, Barbara. Barbara. Yeah? yeah? Okay. So, was you working? Yeah. Like as an employee before? Or you yeah, had your own shop? I had my own shop once. Oh, you had your own shop once? Yeah. Okay. So, if you could have an opportunity to like work with someone, would you do that? Yeah. Have you seeked work? Sorry? Have you seeked work? What do you mean? Like, have you looked for a, a job in Barbara? Um, not at the moment. No. Yeah, I'm willing to go back to work. Yeah. We could have... Three wishes, what they be? Um, I wish I'd stay with my family. And I don't want to be on the road. I think it's a bad thing to be on the road, you know? Yeah, because um, it's actually Christmas now, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's not a nice yeah, this position myself. to be in, in this you know, time of year. And what would be your third wish? It's my family, and the whole of my family, you know? Yeah. I know they worry about... You miss being about... a father. Yeah? You miss being a father. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any last words you want to share? Um, last word to share. Um, I no, I appreciate your time, man. And, you know, I hope you do find a way out of this situation. And hopefully this video can spread awareness to be able to, you know, help people in your situation, you know. Because it's not nice to be able to, to become evicted. Yeah, especially at this time of year. Yeah. yeah. So I appreciate you staying in the story. Thanks, yeah. Bye.